Hey, do you ever find yourself like me who starts and makes all these goals at the beginning of the year and by January 2nd, the goals are gone? You know, one of the biggest goals I've said is, you know what, I'm going to work out. I'm going to be fit by the end of the year and by day two, we're already done, right? And so you guessed it. I'm here to talk about working out, right? And you know, who am I to tell you how to work out? And I'm not, right? I'm not qualified, but I'm here to persuade you and let you know what it's changed and what it's done for my life. A couple years ago in high school, I was actually diagnosed with a heart condition. And because of this heart condition, I've actually really researched and done studies to really try to find out what's going to help me, what's going to better my life and better my situation. And there's a lot of tolls that comes from discovering something like this later in life, especially in high school when you always are comparing yourself to others, right? And so when I finally was diagnosed and <clears throat> I was concerned, I felt bad. You know, I was I had all these questions, I had all these doubts to wonder if it's something that was going to help benefit me or or stop me from being able to be who I wanted to be. Right? And so as I have changed and as I have started to work out to better my life and better my situation, not only has it changed me and my thinking, but it's also allowed me to be an advocate of working out and the benefits that I've received. And so I'm telling you this because as it has benefited me, I wanted to share it with you and persuade you to have a desire to work out in order to have a better outlook in life and better enjoy life. And so what I've come to talk about today is a little bit about the mental benefits, the physical benefits, and the emotional benefits that come from working out. And then I'd like to briefly talk about how easy it is to work out. You know, it doesn't need to be something very strenuous or time consuming. It doesn't need to take up all your day, right? And so I'd like to first define what working out is. And as I Google searched it, it says, it is to engage in a vigorous physical exercise or training, right? And so starting with the benefits that come from exercising, from doing this vigorous training or exercise, you know, I'm going to start with our mental, right? And there's a quote by Robinson's that says, exercise can have a profoundly positive impact on depression and anxiety. And like I stated early, I had this onset early I had a heart condition, right? And it made me overthink. It made me start to have this depression, have this anxiety because I was like, will I ever have a normal life? Is it going to kill me? You know? And all these questions flooded me and it actually made me very sad. But as I, you know, overcame this, as I've come to work out, I've understood what my limitations in life are. And I've been able to grow those limitations as I continue to work out. And by doing so, it changed my mental state. It allowed me to have more control of my, my mentality, have more control over my body, and be more clear. You know, as you work out, your brain also becomes clear, and you're allowed to have that better mentality. You know, then I'd like to share a little bit about the physical benefits. And this is the most prominent one. This is the one we all know about. Um, and there's a quote by a Mayo Clinic, right? And it says, exercise can help prevent excess weight gain or help maintain weight loss. And this is simple stated, right? We all know that as you work out, you're going to lose weight. And that if you want to keep that weight off, you're going to have to continue to work out. And that's just to boost your body, boost those muscles, and make sure that they're burning those calories. And by doing so, we're going to feel better and we're going to be able to enjoy life that much more because we have our health, we have our strength, right? And then lastly, I'd like to talk about the emotional states. And as I read from Applied Sports Psych, it gave us a bunch of bullet points. And these bullet points were very specific. And so out of all the bullet points, I decided to choose three of what the ones that I thought were most important. And they go improved mood, improved self-esteem, and an increased feeling of energy. You know, And I thought these were the most important because they're ones that I personally – struggled with, you know, because of my onset conditions in high school and with this heart condition, I wanted to have that better mood. I wanted to feel better. I wanted to have more self-esteem, right? And ultimately, who doesn't want to have more energy? And so as I 
overcome and I saw these things, I realized that I those were the things that I wanted. And these are all emotional benefits and physical benefits and mental benefits that come from working out. And so there's a lot of benefits that you can get from working out. And so a lot of people say, you know what, there's all these benefits that you can get, but I just don't have the time, right? I don't have the resources and I don't have the energy for it, right? And so I want to explain a little bit about what I discovered as I researched this, that it doesn't take very long. You don't need to exercise for two hours a day. You don't need to go and do very vigorous activities. You know, you need to do what fits you. And so I, as I researched, I found a quote that says, aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate physical activity a day. And this was done by Edward, right? And Edward was trying to express to you that, you know, listen, you don't need to go to the gym for two hours every single day like you see these people on social media social media doing, you know. You don't need to go and find a gym, pay for that gym membership, drive there, drive back, and spend the three hours, you know. It doesn't need to be that vigorous. It doesn't need to be that hard, but it needs to be at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise. And this can be done super simple. Like I said, you don't need to be very extravagant when you're working out or doing anything like that. It can be very simple. Simple like taking a walk around the park, you know, doing some jumping jacks, push-ups, sit-ups in your home, right? Go into your garage and find that jump rope that's been collecting dust and, you know, jump rope for 20, 30 minutes. And by doing so, you're going to feel better. You're going to feel this because you're working out. It doesn't need to be Working out, like social media says, it can be your working out. And it, all it takes is 30 minutes of simple exercise, right? And so a lot of people are still like, you know what, this isn't for me. And I tell you, and I, I tried to express, it is for everybody. Everybody needs to take care of their themselves, takes care of themselves physically, mentally, and emotionally. And this can all be done by working out. And so with working out, we see all these health benefits. And I, I, I tell you, listen. You just got to start somewhere, right? And as you start somewhere, you're going to be able to see those changes in your mentality, emotionally and physically. And as you do so, they'll grow upon each other and you'll be able to want to do it more. And as you do want to do it more, you're only going to see more and more benefits. You know, and it doesn't need to be something that consumes your entire life. But if as you continue to grow and you want to do it for an hour, you know, you'll see an hour's worth of benefits. And as you do an hour every single day for a week, you'll see an hour of benefits right now it's not very like you do this and you'll get this right but you'll be able to see those changes and slowly and slowly you'll be able to see how much better your life becomes from working out and those people that are very skeptical about you know what i won't see the results that i see people on social media again and i say you know what you're right and that's because you're not even doing anything and so as you start and do those 30 minutes, you know, and slowly it grows more and more, you know, you'll start to see those changes and a little is better than none, right? And so it's true. If you want to work out little, you'll see little results. It'll grow slowly. But if you do a lot, you'll be able to see a lot of change. And I don't want to be like, you need to be doing it a hundred percent right at the start, because that's what we try doing at the beginning of the year, every year. You know, we try to go 100% and that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying we need to do what's comfortable and we need to do our 100%, which not might not be the 100% of other people, right? But it's our 100% and as we continue to do this, our 100% is going to grow. And as it continues to grow, we're going to start to see more and more benefits, right? And so it can be implemented in our lives as we just do, right? There's no other way than just starting right? And so in conclusion, I just want to state that it's very important. Physical activity and working out is crucial in our lives and will help benefit us mentally, emotionally, and physically. And by doing that, we'll be able to have a better outlook at life and we'll be able to have a better life because we're able to enjoy everything around us and be able to enjoy ourselves. Next, I'd like to just clarify, it is as simple as 30 minutes a day. It is very easy for us to be able to find 30 minutes out of our time instead of scrolling on Netflix or scrolling on TikTok, watching one of our favorite episodes of Netflix, be able to just do something that's very simple and very easy that fits our needs. And so we want to do it. And so I just reach out and I extend that invitation for you guys to work out, to just start. 
And as you start, you're going to better yourself and better your future. Thank you. Have a great day.